Hey, what's going on, everybody? Uh, Satan back here again for another video. And today, I'll be coming back once again with a brand new Pixar ranking. With the new release of uh, Elemental now out, I uh, finally see it. So I've seen all 27. Well, um, I didn't watch it in the cinema, basically. I watched it at home. It was pretty good. So today, I am here today to rank all 27 Pixar movies from worst to best. So we're going to start off with my least favourite. You know it. For, you've known it for years. My least favourite Pixar film is clearly Cars 2. I think the film is just dreadful, it's terrible, it's not a good movie at all. I mean, who thought it'd be a good idea to make him a good character? He's not. Yeah, but I mean, just Cars 2 for me, it's just not a good movie. And then speaking of Cars, that is the first one coming up next is 26. Cars 1, I mean, I just, I just had a little problems with it. I mean, it was better than the second one, but still, it's just not a good movie in my opinion. And coming in number 25, I got Brave. I mean, this is where the film starts to get okay. I think this is an okay film. I mean, it is basically like a Scottish film set in the 17th something century or the 10th century. It's pretty interesting, but uh, it's just not that good of a movie. It's not bad. It's just okay. And then coming in number 24, I got The Good Dinosaur. Now, uh, this film here looks stunningly beautiful. Like, look at uh the art and uh, the sets, they just look so real, but uh, they don't look the real at all, the dinosaurs or the characters, but it's an okay film, it's just not that bad, I don't think. It's an alright film, it's just okay, I guess. Then coming in number 23, I got Monsters University. Now, for years I've loved Monsters Inc, but for Monsters University... I had a few problems with it. I mean, I don't know why. I just love Monster University and this one just felt a little bit low for me. I mean, it's not too bad. It's an okay film. It's enjoyable. But it's just not as good as any of them. I do prefer it to the ones we just talked about, but and that's just something else. Okay, uh, now we're starting to get into a little section where the film starts to get good. So this number 22 is the films where they start to get good. Onward. Now, this is uh, where the films start to pick up and get good. The film that was uh, released uh, in cinemas before the pandemic happened and all that stuff. And I don't know what to say. I mean, I haven't seen this film in a while. I'll have to give it a watch again. But what I can say about this film is that it's a good film. It's not great, but it's pretty good. Uh, what I do like is the actors uh, having Tom Holland and um, Chris Pratt. Uh, they're pretty good actors, but... And that I haven't seen this film in a while, so it's a rewatch for me. Uh, coming in number 21, I got Pixar's second film. There's a few problems with this film, but I think it's a pretty good movie. Decent enough, and that's A Bug's Life. Yeah, again, this is a one of those films I haven't watched in a while. I've got a few here I haven't watched for a while, so I'm going to have to put them on a list and rewatch them. But what I like about this film is that it was Pixar's second film, 1998. It has that old-fashioned old animated style. It's pretty good. It's not that bad at all. And I do have the 4K on the shelf, so I need to watch that. And then coming in at number 20, I have Cars 3. Now, this is the only good Cars film. I'll happily sit there and watch this one. I was like, wow, I love it. Um, I basically have a soft spot for this one because I remember going to see it in the cinema. And today is basically the 18th, and on Saturday would have been six years ago I saw this in the cinema. I remember that day, it was pretty fun. Wait, or was it? Yeah, it was a uh, Saturday. So yeah, I just basically really like this movie, and I look forward to giving it a rewatch at some point. <sighs> Sorry, I've just had a long day in work and I'm pretty tired. And coming in at number 19, I have uh, Turning Red. Now, uh, I've only seen this movie once, and it's been a long time since I've seen this movie, so I need to give it another rewatch. But it's a pretty good movie. It got nominated for a Best Animated Feature. It's a pretty good movie as well, so um, I'm going to have to give it a rewatch as well. But one of the things that I do like about it is, is that how she transforms from person into a red panda, and the story behind it as well is pretty interesting. So I'll give that a rewatch at some point. And coming in number 18, I have Luca. Now, again, this film I've only seen once, so I'm going to give it a rewatch. Yeah, it's a pretty good film, and one of those original films where they basically turn into uh, a monster from human, just like Turning Red, except this one was better. 
I mean, I had a little bit of a good one first, so this is going to be one of the films I'll be re-watching again. It's a pretty good movie. And then uh, come number 17, I have Stole, a fantastic, gorgeous film. Uh, I rewatched this one uh, in May, I think it was. Yeah, I rewatched this in May. I uh, haven't watched it for two years, so that was a pretty good one for me. Yeah, so I've I basically seen this movie three times in total. Once when I did a Pixar marathon two years ago, and the second time was uh, a few days later, or a few months later, actually. Yeah, it was definitely a few days, and then this, two years later, it's just a really good film. And uh, do I think we get a sequel to this? Yes. <sighs> and uh, what else? Uh, coming in number 16 is going to Inside Out. This is basically Pixar's good comeback after Brave Monsters University. And I basically really like the film. And I remember going to see it in the cinema as well. But what I really like is that we're getting a sequel to this next year. And I'm really excited for that. But what I really do want to see is Pixar drop a teaser trailer. So if anyone from Disney or Pixar is watching, when do we get the teaser trailer for Inside Out 2? Yeah, but I'm definitely going to go see it in the cinema next year. It, I love Inside Out, and I just hope it'll be really good. And I've also grown a little bit in the style of it as well. And uh, coming in number 15, I have Up. I remember I used to love watching Up as a kid. I mean, basically watching the house set up in the air, that was pretty cool. It's pretty sick as well. Yeah, and I mean, basically my favourite character from the movie probably have to be the dog right there. Squirrel! Okay, that was just weird. I was just uh, referencing to him. Yeah, but yeah, I really like Up. I think it's a great time. And then uh, coming in number 14, I have Ratatouille. I mean, I really like Ratatouille. I've only seen it like a few times in total. I can't really remember how much. But yeah, uh, I remember watching this about last year when I did a random movie review. I should probably bring those back again. It has been a few months. It's just I've been so busy. But yeah, I mean, whenever I watch this movie, it makes me hungry. So word of advice to you, whenever you watch Ratatouille, always have food and drink prepared with you. It'll make you hungry. And coming in number 13, we have a uh, Toy Story spin-off or prequel, Lightyear. Yeah, I remember watching this movie last year, and I've only seen this movie once so far. Uh, it's not as bad as people say it is, but I'm going to have to give it a rewatch at some point. It's a pretty good movie, solid as well. Also, another problem is uh, when I got it for the first time, it uh, came without a slip, so I'm going to go on eBay and try and find one later on. And uh, coming in at number 12, I have Pixar's brand new film, Elemental. Yeah, it's in cinemas at the minute, but I didn't go see it in the cinema. Yeah, so I watched it and it had me in all my emotions. I was so pleased with it. I loved it. Uh, the visuals were amazing. The characters were great. I was like, oh, what's going to happen? Are they going to get caught? Yeah, but no, it was basically just a really good, solid film. Am I going to pick it up when it comes out? Yes, it's a really, really good time. I really love it. And uh, that deserves a really good score as well. Hope it's going to win. Uh, coming in at number 11, I have Toy Story 4. Now, this is where the films start to get really, really good. This is a good film, but it's easily my least favourite Toy Story film, but it's not a bad film. Although, what I do want to say is that I think this is should have where they should have stopped doing Toy Story. But they we are getting a fifth one. And I did read on the internet a few days ago, or yesterday, it's either getting released uh, 2027 or 2028. Yeah, I think I'll just go cinema see what it's like. I mean, I grew up with the first three Toy Story films, and I remember seeing this one. But it's not a bad film, I really like it. And I actually saw it twice in cinema as well, so that's pretty good. Okay, we're coming to my top 10 now, and a few of these uh, resemble my childhood as well. Number 10, I have The Incredibles. Oh, this is such a great film, I absolutely love it. I mean, I used to watch this one a few times when I was a kid. Not all the time, but a few times. It's a great film. Um, my favourite character in the movie would probably have to be the baby right there. I think that's pretty cute. I just love it a lot. And then uh, coming in number nine, I have The Incredibles 2. I gave this rewatch and I was like, wow, I like that one a lot more than the first. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> And also, uh, I did read that uh, the director, Brad Bird, will be making Incredibles 3. I was like, ooh, that caught my eye. 
so uh, I will be giving that one a watch, and um, I hopefully hope I hope the film will turn out to be good. And then coming in at number eight, I have a, a film here, uh, Coco. This is one of the most gorgeous films I've ever seen. Possibly one of the most visual looking films ever. It's such a stunning movie. I mean, I haven't watched it since last year, so this will be definitely be a good rewatch for me. And I do have it on 4K over there, so I will be watching it in that. <sighs> but yeah, I just really like this film. I think it's really interesting. And coming in number seven, we'll be going to my very first cinema experience. This one's so good, I love it. Number seven for me is going to Toy Story 3. <coughs> this is just an amazing movie. I absolutely love it a lot. Oh, I remember, well, even though it was about uh, 13 years ago, I still remember seeing it in the cinema. I was uh, sitting there with the 3D glasses and watching it. But yeah, I just really like the film. And um, for some reason, when I look at that cover, it just reminds me of the DVD I had as a kid. But I really like Toy Story 3. It's a great film. And coming in at number six is going to the first Toy Story. Yeah, this is pretty much a classic for Toy Story. This is the first movie that started everything for Pixar, right there. The first movie they ever did. And it is a pretty good movie. There's nothing bad I can say about it. I think it's a really good, solid film. And a little surprise to say, 2025? In about uh, two years will be the 30th anniversary of this. So... Be prepared for that. Okay, we're coming to my top five now. So I have five films here which pretty much hit up to my favourite films. <coughs> Sorry, my voice is going dead. So I better hurry up. Number five, I have Monsters, Inc. This is just a great film. I absolutely love it so much. I gave it a rewatch last month and it's just so good. I loved it a lot. Um, I, it's... It's just a good film I love. Uh, Boo is also really cute. And uh, my favourite character film probably Mike Wazowski. And uh, if I'm looking, it's just a lot I love about this film. Even remembering loving it as a kid. And coming in number four is going to Wally. -E. This is an amazing film. Again, just like Rat 2, I've seen it a few times, but can't remember how many, so I have to count up. But yeah, I really like Wally. -E. It's just a beautiful film. I think it's about uh, 15 years old now, I think. Yeah, it could be. 15 years old. Yeah, 15 years old for Wally, -E, so that's pretty good. And I will be giving it a rewatch at some point. Okay, coming in at number three for me. Well, this is the my most recent cinema experience film. I went to see this in the cinema for my... Uh, well, I went to see some local cinema for, for the 20th anniversary edition, and I was helping out, so it was a lot of fun. <coughs> Sorry. Number three, I have Finding Nemo. This is the most beautiful film I had ever seen. And watching it on the big screen, I was like, I was like wow, this is so much nostalgia for my childhood. Yeah, when I was a kid, I used to watch Finding Nemo a lot. I just think it's gorgeous. I just love it a lot. Uh, coming in number two, I have, which used to be my favourite, now it's my second favourite. Fine Dory comes in number two. I oh, I used to love this movie a lot growing up. And uh, I remember going to see this in the cinema as well with my uncle. It was just great. Yeah, so now I've basically seen Finding Nemo and Fine Dory in the cinema, which is pretty great. There's a few here I've seen in the cinema, but I just want it to be nearly all of them. There's a few there, but... Hey, I just love them. Basically, that's Fine Dory number two. <coughs> we have one more film here. I think mean, this film is pretty perfect and I love it a lot. And I used to watch this film every single day as a young kid. Uh, it has all the toys as well that I used to play with every day. And I watched, used to watch it on repeat and have multiple copies. Anyway, my favourite Pixar movie. Toy Story 2. Oh, this is amazing. I love Toy Story 2. For me, I think it's just great. A classic. It's such a great sequel. And I love every single thing that's happening in this film. Like uh, how Woody gets taken to <coughs> be with his new friends. Uh, go to an art museum in Japan. 
but yeah, I just love it a lot. I mean, I did watch it about uh, two months ago for a rewatch. I did a nine hour shift and work and I was so tired. And I just uh, have so many memories with this film growing up. Uh, I just love it a lot. There's nothing bad I can say about this film that is anything bad. But yeah, I just love it. Toy Story 2 is my favourite Pixar film. So there we go. That is all 27 Pixar movies ranks from least favourite to favourite in my opinion. <coughs> so guys, uh, I will be interested to know. Uh, leave your ranking below or just do a top 5 or top 10. I'd be really interested to see what your thoughts are on Pixar. And um, one thing I would like to have a little question is. If there was any Pixar film you could see that had a mix of 4K, 3D and IMAX, what would that be? Mine would probably have to go with Elemental and Coco. Those would look stunning all together. <coughs> anyway, I'm going to have to go. My voice is going dead, so I'll see you guys later. And um, have a good one.